Today we're gonna to be talking about this little box right here. And if you guys follow me, you probably know what it is. But I picked this up during Cyber Monday. So what I realized is, yes, Black Friday has a lot of good sales and whatnot, but Cyber Monday is the way to go because, I mean, I, I see it as pros and cons. I think the pros are, the deals are definitely better. But the negative to that is there might not be inventory. If there's like something that's super popular or something that you know you want it in a specific colorway or size or something like that, it may not make it over to a Cyber Monday sale because it might be sold out. So it's kind of a balance, right? For me, both are just as good and bad because A, I like to go shopping online, but then also... B, it's good because you save a lot. If you were eyeing something, that's the time to get it. Again, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I love to do unboxings, comparisons. Um, I love designer. I love contemporary handbags, SLGs, you name it. Um, today, we're going to be doing a little, I don't want to say it's an unboxing because it's really just an item in a box, but this is something that I'm sure you guys either all have or have seen before, but it's my first piece um, for a Saint Laurent SLG. So before we open up this box right here, I picked this up at Saks. And you guys know, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but Rakuten has been my friend for the last, I don't know, probably month or so i've always used them i've used them for many years just because you know it adds up right i know it's not always like a high percent cash back but even like a five percent three percent it helps every little bit helps and if it's not really causing me a lot of work or or any you know thought behind it i might as well just you know utilize it so that's how i've been using it for many years but obviously during sales the percentages will go a lot higher so before we jump into what's in this little box, I just wanted to say I got this for such a good deal because I purchased this via Saks and Saks was doing their gift card promotion during the time, but it wasn't like spend a, a certain amount, you get X amount back. I don't exactly remember what it was, but sometimes it's like you have to spend at least X amount of dollars to get X amount back. I think this one was on, you get something back regardless of how much you spent. So for this one, I believe I got $50 gift card back, which, you know, isn't bad because typically this is a smaller SLG, so you don't get that much back anyways. And usually there's like a larger amount you would need to spend. But Rakuten was also doing a Saks promotion. And I think at that time it was 20%. So I was able to use that 20% and then stack it with the gift card promotion and it just worked out really well so i got it for you know a really good price and i've been wanting to pick up one of these i just kind of been waiting for a sale i didn't want to pay full price for it so i'm just gonna jump right in obviously we all know the black saint laurent box and came in this little bag right here which this is my first um saint laurent SLG piece. I have a couple bags, but that's about it. So I've never really looked at the SLGs in person. Uh, mine is like in like stores, I'll glance, but I never actually like look, looked at it. So it's my first time. I love this little cute black drawstring. Is it drawstring? Yeah, it's drawstring back though. I thought it's so cute to put this little wallet in. So it comes in this bag. It came with this card. You know what I just noticed? And sorry, there was a pause. I just realized, I think I had to use that gift card. I think I only had like a week to use it. I need to check on this, but um, but nonetheless, yeah, it came in this little bag in here. Oh, and also you get obviously the um, care cards and authenticity card in this little package here. And here it is. It's the YSL card holder in fuchsia pink caviar sheepskin with gold hardware. Now, I just love this pop of pink. Let me show you up close. So gorgeous.
Yeah, I definitely love this pop of pink. So I always say if you're going to put SLG, SLGs and other, you know, fun stuff in your bag, like make it pop, right? Have some fun because for me, you guys know I'm a little scared using bright colors or at least on investment bags. Um, I'm always hesitant doesn't match or it's maybe too much for, you know, doesn't for me personally. But I love having fun with wallets, SLGs, and anything that goes inside. So I thought pink would be such a good pop. I mean, the black, obviously, the beige, those are all beautiful as well. This comes in many colors. And I believe this is a seasonal color, but they have, um, they have like a yellow last season, I believe. They have like blues. I mean, they have a bunch of different ones. So they're all really gorgeous. But the black, beige, and um, I think they have like a creamy white. Those are all their like standard colors. And I love those as well. But I also feel like that's what my bag looks like. And a lot of times the bag is so, I have so much, not I have so much, but I do have other things in there. I can't necessarily find stuff. So with a pop of color, you're able to just see it, grab it and utilize it. So as you guys know, I do love a good pink SLG. I have my Tigerama right here in the fuchsia pink as well, or electric pink. I don't know what the Zac color is on Louis Vuitton, but it's a little bit different. So this is more of a gray tone pink. This is obviously more of a like fluorescent neon pink. Uh, both are beautiful in my opinion. Here's a size comparison. This is the wallet I've been using every day since I purchased. And then here again is the size comparison. Here is my Senrev card case. Just wanted to show the comparison between these two as well. So yeah, it's pretty much the same. Actually, I think Senrev is just a little bit bigger, but very, very, very similar. So if I do use a mini, mini wall, a uh, mini, mini handbag, this is my only card case I actually own. So that is why I wanted to pick up one of these. I've been actually waiting because I wanted to pick up a Chanel one, which I do, I do think I have one in route, but it's so hard to find a good color. And like I say, I always want like a fun pop of a color. I don't want necessarily just like their standard. So I just been waiting for so long. I figure in the meantime, I will just use something like this and see if I like it, if it works out for what I'm looking for. So obviously you guys have probably seen many reviews on this. I just wanna see what fits inside and show you guys if you are interested. So again, it has two slots here an opening, two other slots here. Obviously I've, I've seen other reviews where people say it's a little tight at first, so you do have to use it a little bit for it to be stretchy um, and you are gonna be, you know, a little bit constrained in regards to what actually fits in here. So I'm just gonna put in some cards and let's, you know, give it a try. But like if I were to put in this gift card right here, that fits inside perfectly. Let's put in Nordstrom gift card. See, that's already really tight. It's crazy. So I don't think another, let me see if I can fit in another card. If I were to take a Target card. Okay, so I could squeeze like two here, but I won't be able to fit two here. So right now I have three cards in total. And let's see if the back is the same capacity. So let's put in again, another Nordstrom card. So now you get really tight back here because the front already is fully loaded. So that's a really tight squeeze. Just so you know, look at this. You're already working with a lot. So yeah, I would not. Okay, well, if I wanted to stick another card up here, it will work, but this is a thinner card. So if you actually put in a credit card where it's gonna be thicker, chances are it's gonna be even a tighter squeeze. So you have three over here, one, two, three, four, five. So five cards, and then obviously we wanna utilize the middle, I think, Let's see if we can fit like a, another card in the middle. Okay, so 
This is not good. I mean, if you stuff it in, yes, it will fit, but comfortably, this will not fit. See? Because you're just going to like really either like stretch out the wallet or you're never going to be able to get it out. It's going to be difficult. So I wouldn't, if you're going to put three and two, you can't use the middle pocket. But what you could do is maybe put cash in there. So let me see if I have cash. I don't actually have any cash with me, but if I want to take like a paper receipt, like that could fit. So like pretend this is a dollar, that would fit. So I would say you could put a couple dollars in the middle part and then five cards, three on one side, two on the other side, and then that's pretty much it. Hard wallet is really not meant to actually put in everything, every card, every gift card, every, you know, you use this because your space in your bag is limited. So, I mean, I think for most of us, you just carry your basics, right? Driver's license, a couple credit cards, some cash, and then usually we have our key pouch or something else that we put our gift cards and other like secondary cards that we may not use on a daily. So that's how I would do it. Um, but I just wanted to hop on and just really show like max capacity. Could you squeeze like maybe like a card or two in? Of course, like you can definitely squeeze it in, but it's just not realistic. You're gonna have troubles getting it out when you're paying for something. And then also it's just, um, you might like damage your SLG in the meantime too, which isn't worth it. But yeah, here it is one more time. So obviously if you're looking to put something in that fits a lot more, I would definitely consider something like this. This wallet is great for every day because it honestly fits a lot and it's thin. So it does fit into most small bags. Um, it's just longer though. So that's why I wanted to partner it with this because, you know, in the event the bag is, the, the length of it is smaller, I can use this. Um, and so this is nice just to have a card holder and not a full wallet. But yeah, to me, this is a full wallet. That's what I use it for. And this will be my mini. And if you want to see more on this piece right here, I did a review video on it. I will drop it below. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. Definitely a favorite right now in my SLG collection just because it's functional. It's cute. Um, it's kind of unique. I don't see it around all the time. I personally really like it. Um, obviously, this one is not as unique as this because everyone loves a good St. Laurent bag. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you'll see this a lot more. But it goes in your bag. So get whatever makes you happy and whatever is functional. I think that's the key especially for SLGs, something functional because you're going to be pulling it in and out, paying things. You don't want to sit there and like struggle because the zipper is not zipping or it doesn't fit like the things you actually need it to fit. So I would say, you know, it's good to have two versions and just kind of switch off. Um, but yeah, just wanted to hop on really quickly and talk about this little piece. Love it so much. I am actually going to start using this and put in my actual cards. And then I want to like start stretching it out a little bit. So it is easier to get in and out of. But nonetheless, let me know what do you guys think about this color? Do you like colorful SLGs or do you prefer like more neutrals? Um, do, you, do you guys like this fuchsia pink? Um, just curious on what you think. I definitely want to add like a neon pop if it ever comes out in spring or summer, similar to this, but yellow. I think Mel actually did one on her channel and she had like a fluorescent yellow one and it, I thought it was so cute. So if that ever comes out, I will definitely be picking that up. But yeah, this is such a cute one. Um, like it a lot and can't wait to start using it. And that is all you guys. If you have any questions or drop a comment below, let me know, you know, what is your favorite color for SLG? I would love to know. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.